Okay. So, I have been busy, <laughs> mostly with like work and just real world stuff. So today we're just gonna draw some random stuff using just two pens. <laughs> One is a pigment micron that is a 08, and then for like tiny details, a 01. Uh, I, this is just like my random sketchbook. So it's got like 100 face challenge stuff, poses, things, um, random words and letterings, all that kinds of stuff. More 100 face challenge things. I have not actually done the official 100 page challenge. You know, uh, who has time for that? Um, but I have been doing studies from it, like this, which I really love. Um, sketches. This has been some ink stuff that I've just been doing for Inktober. I haven't really been posting it though. Um, mostly because when I do stuff like this, I'm not recording, I'm just kind of sitting and watching YouTube or whatever and just doodling. So this really has been like one of my favorite spreads so far. This combined with this, which is different, but mostly this one. This one to me is so fun and cool. I have some of my bear buddies. I have some fairies. Um, funny enough, I inadvertently did this little like birds and the bees. And she's behind a curtain, naked, at least that's how she appears. Uh, more random spreads. And then I did a, another sketch study today. Um, and I actually really love how soft this is and how the face is. But yeah, so um, we are gonna just take this page because that sketch is on that side and we're just gonna draw stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, something I've been trying to work more on recently is just letting go and <laughs> doodling random stuff, even if it's bad because the more that I do that, the more that I kind of unlock my own creativity and I really kind of start creating things for fun rather than under this pressure that I put myself on on trying to make things perfect. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> how that might sound um, but at the same time I don't think we as artists do that enough I saw a video I think on TikTok where it was like hot take on artists feel free to create bad art and it's so true right I know for a lot of us almost every artist I've known actually we can look back at our early stages of art and feel like it's bad and personally I love watching people of every art style and every arts like skill level grow as artists you know I believe at the end of the day that art is relative so it's always great to be encouragingly like encouraging in your critique if you're you know if someone is asking you for critique but also just to be encouraging i have seen far too many people turn themselves away from art because they look at artists who are more advanced in years or more advanced in skill at that time and stop wanting to create or don't even want to get started you know, I have tried and helped some people to get started into doing art because they talk about how they want to, but, oh, I'll never be at your level or at that level, or I'll never be able to do what, you know, Da Vinci did. And while that's great at the end of the day, like, it took years for all of us 
to get to where we are in skill level. And for most of us who are artists, even today, we're still learning in subtle ways and growing in subtle ways. I know for myself especially, I have been working hard to grow in portraiture, um, kind of like you saw in the sketches at the beginning and doing the 100 face challenge. You know, I, for some of them, I set myself like a 10 minute timer. For some, I decided that I was gonna give myself more time and really look at the shapes and everything. Because while I never considered doing realism, I truly love painting portraits. And I know most of like the paintings that you guys have seen on this page and maybe even on my Instagram and stuff, they're usually like portraits of my style of girls. And I wanted to dive deeper into that and start working on so many different aspects. And constant practice is where it is. So we are all constantly growing within our art. So I never enjoy seeing people critique themselves to the point where they decide to stop drawing because of other people. It's really sad to me. And at the end of the day, there are gatekeepers kind of everywhere. But there's definitely gatekeepers in art, and it's sad to me because art is a freedom for your soul. Art is you expressing yourself. You might doodle words constantly. You might just create a page of lines that make absolutely no sense, but you're doing it for you. And... You know, that is where these kind of pages started coming into play for myself. I talked about in previous videos how I wanted to start unboxing myself and getting out of this construct that I had created for myself artistically that caused me to ultimately go into burnout and to not really like to create as much because I was restricting myself so much. And these pages for myself, these, these just random doodle dump pages have been incredibly freeing and relaxing and I can do multiple or I can just do one and have fun with it. And honestly, I love how they turn out. I love that they're completely random and make absolutely no sense. It's so relaxing to me and so freeing in comparison to what I would always do. And then I throw in the serious study pages or, you know, for myself as well, the work that I have to do on a daily basis, which is also art. It's just digital and not my forte. I'm still learning so much. But don't box yourself. Don't do what I did, you know? Don't listen to other people and feel like you have to construct yourself by what other people say of your art, you know? That's why there's realism, surrealism, pop art, um, Vogue art, <laughs> you know, Art Nouveau, all different kinds of genres and styles. There's doodle art, there's sketch art, there's hand lettering and typography and pyrography and carving and sculpting and all these different things out there and available to you and one of the easiest things is to just grab a pen and a paper and just draw because you want to you don't have to have a plan and you don't have to make it look good if you want to draw a tree that somehow looks like a person or a person that somehow looks like a tree, do it. You know, if your bush looks like a cloud because it's just a blob, do it. It doesn't matter at the end of the day because you're creating. You're freeing yourself and relaxing your mind. There is such a meditative state that we get into by creating 
this imagery and by just allowing ourselves to be creative and I recommend it for everyone and it's it's just fun at the end of the day and I don't want you guys to sit here and lose yourself or overly critique yourself because of what other people say I have seen too many artists decide to give up or take a break and not return for I mean I even did it myself because we just get too into our heads and stop allowing ourselves the creative freedom so that's my TED talk for the day <laughs> at the end of the day all I want you guys to pass by with this is to just have fun creating and create because you want to create and don't hold yourself back because you're not at the skill level of people who inspire you but rather use that inspiration to create determination and motivation to grow because it will take time but I can guarantee you continue challenging yourself and you're gonna be ahead of where you ever thought you could be so I'm gonna leave you guys with that <laughs> I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been super fun creating these pages and really there's no mindset to it. I've been putting in my bear buddies, I've been putting in these little ghosts because I love them all of a sudden and I love watching paranormal things so they that's like my little tie-in with that and it's been a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day, take it easy, and as always I will see you in the next video. If you like this video, consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. <laughs>